Hello guys, so welcome back to our course. This is lecture uh, 14. And we started so far, you know, the other uh, subtractor, uh, other subtractor together in the same circuit. And it's time now to extend more our arithmetic, you know, designs, you know, the designs, uh, combinational designs that do arithmetic operations and try out the multiplier, why not? So, a multiplier is basically multiplies two numbers together. You know, that's really obvious. <laughs> so uh, our first step here is to multiply uh, two binary numbers and each one is two bits. And why I choose this? Because it's simple enough and it will give you an idea that you please don't afraid from any design. Just to think about it, it may be uh, in the first glance, you know, maybe difficult or something, you know, not doable, but when, when you think about it, it's really easy. And one of these easy designs is basically the two-bit uh, binary multiplier, okay? It has uh, two designs. I will explore with you the first design and the second recording, we're gonna explore another design, which is basically more smart, okay? So the design here is basically, uh, we have two, two binary numbers, A and B, A, and let's uh, change the color. A and B, A is two bits, as you see, guys, and B is also two bits. Okay, so the first question we should ask ourselves, how much or how many bits for the outputs? So if A is two bits, so A maximum is basically three, which is one one, uh, which is three in, uh, in decimal. And B maximum will be basically three also, one one. So three by three is nine. Nine in binary is one zero zero one. That's why we have four bits here in the output. So we want a box, a design. This design will have two inputs, each one is two bits, and the four out uh, yeah, it's one output but four bits. Okay, so uh, the first you know uh, way you think about this problem is that you should just, you know, write down the truth table. So here is, you know, A, this is basically A, the two bits of A, A1 and A0, and this is basically B. Okay, then look, A can be zero up, up, up to three, and B can zero, zero up to three. So the way you think about it is something like this. So the way you think about it is, uh, is, is just like this, A, B, and the output is C. Then A can it change it from zero to three, zero uh, to three. So I'm gonna change B with zero, and B will take zero, B, zero, one, two, three. Then B will be, uh, I'm sorry, A will be one, and again, the four cases of B, just like the binary, okay, and so on until you reach, uh, you know, three. Then again, you, you change B in the same way. Okay, uh, so that's what we basically I'm doing here. So if you count these, this will be 16 cases because each one is two bits, okay? Although it's not clear here. So you should do them, of course, in the, in the, in the you know, here's a uh, missing cases is, is, is the twos. So these are 16 cases. That's basically what we have here. So uh, remember each uh, number is two bits. So if we just go blindly without thinking about, you know, uh, this, this structure here, you will go from four zeros to four ones. But if you look more in, deeper into it, you will find that this is basically this thing here. Exactly. It's exactly the same. So, on the side here, I'm writing A in decimal and B in decimal. And if you like, if you look at the decimal, you know, uh, numbers, it's basically is a table that I just created for you here. It's exactly that. For example, these are the four, uh, the first four cases. Then when A is one, again, B will change from zero to three, then A is two. Then B again will change from zero to three. Then finally A three, and B will change from zero to three again. Okay, 
and you can just go blindly and four zeros, you know, then zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, zero, and so on until you reach four ones, okay? But why this is easier? Because you know, you know, uh, zero by zero or times zero is zero, zero times one is, is zero, zero times two is zero, and basically, you know, whenever A is zero or B is zero, the output will be zero. No, no doubt on that. And whenever A or B is, is one, then the output will be the second, you know, the, the other argument. So one by one, two, three, here is two, here is three. Okay. Then basically uh, two by two is four, two by three is six, uh, two, two by three again is six, three by three is nine. Okay. That's exactly what I get here. Look. Zero, 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 zero. This is again zero because uh, B was zero. This is again zero because B is zero. This is again zero because B is zero. Okay. Then this is one because both are ones. This is two because A is one. So whatever B is will just, you know, go there. Two, I'm sorry. Here is uh, three because uh, A again one, B is three, three multiplied by one, uh, by one is uh, three. Then two multiplied by one is two. Two multiplied by two is four. Two multiplied by three is six. Then two multiplied, three multiplied by one is three. Three multiplied by two is six. Three multiplied by, nine, by three is nine. That's exactly what I get here. The last column. Okay. Now it's very clear. Now we should, we have just imagine it that you have a circuit, a true stable, four inputs. Um, so yeah, four inputs. I mean, two bits and two bits is four. And the four outputs, again, it's one, uh, it represents one number, but this number is four bits. Then just to design each one of these outputs by itself. It's like if you have four functions, just like what we did, you know, many times before. So I will do, for example, you know, this case, C3. As you see, it's all zeros except this one here. So let's start by the first four zeros. Zero, 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 zero. Then the second four zeros. Zero, 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 zero. And I always follow this pattern not to, you know, not to make any mistake in the future. Then another four zeros. Zero, 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 zero. Then finally, uh, zero, 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 one. Zero, 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 one. So you only have one, one here. So it's one group. So C3 is basically uh, A1, A0, B1, B0. And if you look, this is the, is the only case in which all of them are ones. That's why you have here uh, one. Okay, otherwise it's zero. Okay. So this is this will be the your homework basically. So you will do C two, you will do C one, you will do C zero. I think it's really clear and and easy. Then you will you will end up with four equations. You know, then you will have a very neat and a small DHL design that do that do for uh, you know the the two bit by two bit uh, binary multiply. It's really easy and an elegant design. Also. When we just think about a multiplier, it might be hard. It might be not doable. No, it's very doable. It's really easy. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video and see you in the next design. Bye-bye.